Hello and welcome to Train Fever. My name is Ajax Post and uh, we're on episode 13 I think and in the last uh, little video we completed the first part of what I've decided to call the Southern Loop. Uh, so we've actually got four stations here, that's a nice bright red line here. Um, going from Gisborough to Banbury to Thatcham to Hendon and today I'm going to bring in Fakenham which I've kind of ignored, in fact I've ignored both Fakenham and Tatemouth which were my original two towns for a while. They've kind of looked after themselves rather nicely but it's about time I think to bring them into uh, into the rest of the world really and uh, <laughs> hopefully the rest of the world will benefit. As you can see their passenger numbers if nothing else it's quite tidy to say the least. Um, also Fakenham um, is has a little bit of a, a sort of goods issue here. It's actually being supplied by a fair amount of goods, but it's all coming from this one uh, steel refinery. Would you call it? Yeah. Well, that's what I've called it anyway. <laughs> you get coal and so you get coal. Yeah, you get coal and iron delivered there, and, and stuff comes out, which I, I think could be steel. Yeah. Who knows? Um, but it's and it's the only town receiving goods from that. Um, from that industry so it's not really making the best use of that I mean our maximum limit is 50 but it's delivering a fair number so it's keeping profitable um, I hope listen this uh, can I check that uh, finances uh, okay it's not profitable <laughs> okay right well, well I hope to address that by including Fakenham now in this uh, in this loop for passengers and also perhaps if I can get there I laid some extra sort of tarmac road along the way here in the two years since our last episode uh, and get uh, goods delivered from here to Hendon uh, to try and boost that uh, that's town development as well anyway time to crack on so we're reasonably profitable overall uh, what's our st statement look like yeah, in the last year we made nearly two million, which is all very nice. And so far we're nearly a million already, and we're only in April. Well, 650k, which is nearly a million, isn't it? Okay, let's just slow it down a little bit, so we don't get uh, too distracted by stuff going on. All right, so what we're going to need is it's a bit of an odd curve, this, to bring this in, because of the placing of the stations originally between Tamworth and Fakenham. So it's coming out here and it's got to go up here so a simplest route would be to go straight through the mountain there but I suspect that's going to be a little bit costly um, what I'd like to do actually is sort of see if I can make it a little bit more scenic and run it to some degree along the lakeside here there is a risk there of course we're going to get a really sharp bend in here which will slow it down but let's see how, how we do anyway let's let's stop prattling on and let's get down to doing Doing railways, uh, so we're going for the high-speed track. And we've got the catenary, that's how you pronounce it, which is the electric wires. I've already laid in a little bit of track here, just sort of estimate the curve we've got. So let's see where we're going. So we want to move that. So if we take that all the way up there, that's 2.4. That's a bit cheap, you see, going around that way. Actually, that's not too bad. Got a couple of bridges. And we should be able to, I think. Well, let's <laughs> let's see how we go. Anyway, right. Um, actually, let's make these a nice bright red colour, shall we? Different from. Uh, and what sort of signal should we use here? Uh, oh, we we'll use barriers. So it's going to be a fast train route, and, uh, and actually a reasonably fast road that so. We want to uh, train one. I'm trying to which one that is. Has reached the end of its lifetime. Uh, I'm sure it will take care of it. So I think I've got. Uh, let's accept that. I think I've got auto replacement on the train routes. I'm not going to worry about it for now anyway. Right, so what happens if I just drag that round there? Uh, ooh, line up there. That's two. And three. 2.3. No, don't don't go there. You actually wanted to line up with the track. I think that's it. So how does that look? That's actually quite fast. Still it goes down to 105. Um, but we're in the tunnel for a lot of that. 
But I'd like to have a little less tunnel, I think. So I'm going to lose some speed. I have got that joined up right, haven't I? That's the outer track there. Going to... Yeah, the outer track coming out of Hendon. Woo! <laughs> Expensive little mistake to make. Okay, so can we... That's not such not so much tunnel there, and we're above ground there, so we can sort of see the lake and this lovely coal mine. <laughs> A little bit of industrial heritage never hurt anyone, did it? Uh, actually, I don't want to go too close there, because it will make that bend all the worse, I think. OK, let's take that. Uh, before I do that, do I need to make a choice? Where's little thatch? Oh no, I don't want a big cut. I shut them. Ow! <laughs> Oops, total lack of mouse control. No, don't do that. Let's start again. Right. I have done this. I've, I've been playing another game sort of alongside this, just for my own amusement, really, just trying a few other things out. And uh, it's very easy to make silly little mistakes where things don't join up properly <laughs> if you're not paying attention. Okay, I think that will do okay. Yeah, let's take that, shall we? And then we'll... How much is going to cost to bring us from there? I think that's actually cheaper still than it was on the first suggestion from my rail engineers. Okay, we've got another little bit of tunnel going in there. Well, that's not too much. OK, they're not actually seeing much of the lake there at all, really. <laughs> the closest they get, they're in, in underground. Oh, never mind. It's a nice, fast piece of track. So that, yep, we'll take that. Thank you very much. And can we double track it all the way back? Why am I getting reds? I don't want reds. I want you to join up. Oh, you're not snapped together there. Oops. Okay, that's good. Actually, while I'm here, I need to upgrade this track, don't I, as well? Make it high speed. There we go. I'm going to have to do that with... Uh, Don't <laughs> wait too much. Uh, actually, I think I might need to upgrade. Yeah, I need to upgrade the rest of that line to high speed. But I'll do that when we get on to that end of the loop. We're focusing on this side, so oh, this is better. Okay. Just go around there. It's looking good. Just need to get you through the tunnel. Checking on all linked up still, all snapped together. Splendid. Right now, I was at 11 million something when I started this, I think, wasn't I? If you were paying attention. <laughs> Why should you pay attention when I'm certainly not? Ooh, you see, that's what I mean. Leaving a gap, don't do that. Click, that's it. Yep, so he's through the tunnel. Oh, and we actually don't want to start the bridge a little bit. Keep you there. Right, I mean, it might, might have made sense to actually bridge over the road, but we didn't need to. It's probably cheaper to do it this way, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, road traffic can stop for my trains. Of course it can. It will. <laughs> it's not going to have any choice, is it? Ah, no, don't make sure it joins up. There we go. Over there. Oh, it's coming into the final stretches. That's a nice 
long bridge. It's a long bridge. There we go. And round. Oh, I've got the. Uh, oh, I've got the other style bridge there, haven't I? Oh no, no matter. <laughs> it's done now. I could replace it, but you can't. I don't think you can. You can't really upgrade bridges like that. You have to delete them and start again. So how much would it cost to delete that? It deletes all that. And that. It doesn't cost that much to delete. Oh, I, I'm not going to do that. Nope. <laughs> I don't care. Right. So we have track coming in here to Fakenham. So we're going to need a little crossover. Can I do that under the bridge? If you click on OK, it'll do it for you. There we go. It means unsuitable. How can it be unsuitable? How dare you? Well, I've taken a year already. Let's uh, pause for a second. <laughs> Don't want the year to go by too quickly. So we've already lost two. Let's see here in a bit. Right. So where's the? It's coming in there. Why actually did I? I, I don't know. I can't see what I'm doing. This bridge is getting in the way. <laughs> it looks cute, but. Right. We'll start again. So we'll get you up there. We'll get you to there. That's good. So you see we've got that going in there. It does work. Uh, was that me or was that the game? Who knows? Right, some signals. These funky. Right, so we're going. We're going out that way. Driving on the left. So they're coming in. We'll be on this side. There we go. And we'll put a little sort of passing. Or again, we'll, we'll keep. We'll block the track up. Just in case I get so many trains running along here eventually. But there's several running between stations. Here we go. It would be nice to stick them. Which is what we'll do. Wouldn't that be cute, wouldn't it? I'll have one stop before that tunnel. And one stop before whoops, that tunnel. Okay. Uh, perhaps we will. Yeah, we'll stick one here. On, as you approach the bridge from that angle. Now, is there space here? We could do it. Okay, do we have a crossover down here yet? We haven't, so let's stick that in. That's a bit curvy, this doesn't always like. Uh, it does like. <laughs> Don't fret. The game will do. Will do your bidding. Sometimes. <laughs> Right, okay, so what have we got now? It looks like we have got a nice complete circuit from Gisborough over here all the way around to Fakenham. So uh, let's just extend that route. What route are we looking at here? Gisborough to Hendon. So from Hendon, we won't go straight back to Thatcham. We'll go here to Fakenham. 
uh, at a station. There we go. That's good. The other tr the other line actually comes in on the other platform, so it's very nicely selected the correct platform for me. It's really good on it. All right. Actually, we don't. We're, we're, we're just going both clockwise and anti-clockwise here, anyway, isn't it? It's, it's it's returning, so I don't think I'll work. It's when it's a proper loop, uh, a complete circuit. Uh, you probably do want to do. You will want to do both clockwise and uh, clockwise, which is that way, and anti-clockwise, which is that way. Uh, so you make sure you've got enough trains travelling quickly enough between the distant different stations. Right. So from Fakenham, it will then go back to Hendon. There we go, and then Thatch and Banbury and Gisborough. Excellent. All right, so I think uh, we haven't got a depot here. So where are my trains on that route? There's one there. I think I've got three trains on here, haven't I? Well, I can't tell from that. You can tell from here, though. So it's one. Yeah, just three. Three trains. I've got. Whoops, that's the wrong one. That's that one. That's that one, and that one. Okay, so we've got one going to Gisborough. We've got one going to Hendon. So, which direction are you travelling in? Right, so you're travelling from Thatcham to Hendon, and one going to Banbury. Uh, again, coming in from that direction. So what we want, I think, actually we could do with one coming in from Fakenham, couldn't we, really? Yeah, let's have one going in the other direction, I think. So I will... Let's, we need a depot here somehow. So let's... Uh, let's stick on the outskirts of the city. Track. There we go. Stick a depot on the end of it. Oops. We'll buy a new train. Uh, it's going to be. Oh, it's that one still, isn't it? That's. That's the fastest one I've got at the moment, apart from the steam train. It'd be nice. To have it. We, I will. We'll have to get that steam train running at some point because it is quite fast. Ninety. Look at that. That's, that's very nicely fast. Um, the red arrow's faster than my current preferred diesel, but uh, it does carry seven, It carries fifteen passengers, which is well. I'm, I'm carrying over forty now, aren't I? Bits of the route. But it looks more like a commuter train, really, doesn't it, than, than a sort of um, sort of intercity style thing. So we'll stick with this for the moment. So we'll buy one of you, and we will buy one, two, three, four. Let's get extravagant. Let's go five carriages, shall we? And we will stick you on that route. Let's get you moving. There it comes. He's on the uh, wrong side of the track at the moment, but once he gets into the station, he should uh, he should revert. Oh, he's on. The... No, he is wrong. <laughs> uh, he will come back, I think, onto the right side of the. Oh, he's right, isn't he? Actually, no, that is correct. He's got that right. Yes. So he'll. Uh... Right, no passengers, of course, at this point in the game. So... A bit early in the life of this route. And off he goes. Should we just follow him on his maiden voyage? It's an exciting new route. Actually, it's quite a nice vista, that, isn't it? Looking into the lake, to the distance. It is rather lovely. And he goes into a tunnel. out of it for a while. Then goes into another tunnel. They're very bold these hills, aren't they? 
Not a great deal of vegetation to be seen. Mm. You can there is actually a decoration in the game, uh, so I could plant trees if I wanted to. Don't. <laughs> I haven't got time for that. Now let's catch up with our train. Hey, darn, missed it. <laughs> uh, a little bit of cross train. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. There's a, uh, a sort of landscape smoothing tool which I might use to uh, to get rid of some of those sharp sharp cuts into the earth. Make it look a little bit more natural, perhaps. The, the, I, one of the things I love about these transport games in general, ever since Sin Meier's first uh, Railroad Tycoon, is just watching them go through the landscape in the city. It's just fascinating, really. I don't know why. I'm not a train spotter or anything like that in real life, you know. Um, but, ah, excellent. Pulling in. Now, are you going to pick up any... All of 23. Excellent job. What's the other guy got? Four to fake them. Okay. Well, it's, it's, people aren't used to that end of the route yet. Okay. Right, so that's looking really nice. So I think that route will carry on nicely on its own. Uh, we, what we want to do is get some more trucks in here. At the moment, if we look at my road routes, which are an entirely unhelpful colour. <laughs> uh, yellow, there we go. So they're delivering into Fakenham. She's doing quite nicely. As I said, it's not actually profitable anymore. Um, I'm not quite sure why. Is it that the, uh, the goods do appear to be going into the into the station there uh, but not all of them where are you going yeah the AI is delivering some goods of its own accord uh, which isn't isn't good which could mean I mean that's, that's a I've got 39 seconds for that route so that is fast enough anyway let's get ourselves a new route set up so we're going to be going from Again here, I think. Oh, it's a lovely sharp pink colour. That will do nicely. So going from there to where's Hendon? There it is. And your goods delivery is there. Right, and we will call this. Oops. Don't want to move them out all over there. Hendon Steel Goods. Top shop. Right. Uh, where's my notice? Let's get some road vehicles. Uh, we'll use the Blitz, of course, and the delivering goods. One, two. Uh, we could do with a few of these, actually. I'll buy them all at once, then just release them in turn. <laughs> uh, what was it? Hendon. <laughs> Hendon Steel Goods. There you go. Uh, the station. And pick up nothing at all because there's nothing there. We'll send you off. And then you pick anything up? Nope. You next one. It's exciting stuff, isn't it, this? <laughs> Watching trucks being released into the wild. Come on, someone must pick up a good here somewhere. Nope, not you. <laughs> There's still all the good stuff's going to to fake them. Just hit another year. 
Let's just check our balance sheet. Well, right, so all the last couple of years we haven't made anywhere near as much money, but we have been spending a lot. Uh, both in building the railroad, that's four and a half mil, plus another two mil for new vehicles. And this year, kind of the reverse really, well, it's only four mil on vehicles. But that's, that's not bad actually, considering. Well, capital, that should start reaping re rewards soon, he said very positively. No, still no goods going to Hendon. Oh dear. <laughs> Right, so what's uh, is that you there? Uh, that, you don't tell me what the distribution time is, do you? Uh, 100 seconds, oh, that's not too bad actually. But we'll add another vehicle anyway. I mean, really, of course, we should be delivering goods fast and efficiently by rail, but <laughs> you may recall from earlier episodes, I don't have a good reputation when it comes to delivering goods by rail. <laughs> so, and, and I just go to say, in this uh, alternate, this sort of uh, parallel game I'm running, uh, and not, not actually recording, um, I'm using, I think, only vehicles, road, for, ah, the goods, excellent. Phew. <laughs> I am only using road vehicles for goods transport, and it's working rather well, actually, well, well into the future. Now actually what we could do, because um, that's going all the way through fake, isn't it? We could short circuit that a little bit, I think. We don't need to go through the town. So can we? Um, the last thing we'll do as uh, this video draws, I think, to a natural conclusion. Actually, that's built in. So I don't, yeah, so <laughs> Why is there not enough room to build there? Explain yourself to me. It doesn't want to do it, does it? Why not? What if I upgrade that bit of rope there? Will you then let me add in? That well, is very odd, isn't it? <laughs> only works from a certain angle. Okay, now I need to I'm going to go over or under the road do you think? Let's go over. No. Curvy curvy, it just loves curves. Right, excellent. Yeah, we're, we're only in 1943 in the game. Um, but we've lost our really attractive stone bridges. We've got these rather modern looking things. And I mean, they're efficient. <laughs> you can't say they're attractive, can you? Okay, let's take that. I'm using the large road here with the bus lanes because that means my lorries will use my lorries will use the bus lanes, uh, which will keep them separate from the AI's vehicular traffic. Okay, let's should we carry what's with this not enough space and nonsense that oh it was there and then it <laughs> No, you can do it. I saw you there. Gotcha. Alright. Um I think should we make that the end of the No, let's actually draw that further on. So that will then join this country lane. There, that do nicely. And perhaps actually upgrade that final bit here. There you go. Right, so that should imp improve the speed and delivery efficiency for Hendon Steel Goods. Oh, excellent, we've delivered 18k. Uh, so, well, yes. <laughs> what is that, 10% of the amount it's cost us? That's a start. Okay, and a final look. I'm already at 12 million. I'm already 
up on where we started this. And something must be going right. Can't be something I've done, surely. <laughs> Who else? Who else could it be? Oh, look at that. That's a nice profit on our line there. Three, nearly four million so far this year. Okay, so three. That's that's nice. I'm liking that. So there we are, I think. Part two of our southern loop. We've now got Fakenham in the uh, connected up. Uh, it's rather odd, actually. <laughs> it's an odd looking line, actually, when you look at it in plan view. Uh, so the next thing is to replace this very profitable Fakenham to Tainmouth line. Uh, with make that part of the loop and complete it up to Gisborough. So that is what we hope to achieve in the next episode. But for now, from Ajax Post playing train for Oh, look at that. Sorry. <laughs> We're about to hit the end of the year as well. Oh, I, look at this. No, the number of passengers is fabulous. So we've hit the end of that year. A final look at the profits. Four million. That I like in. I like that a lot. Right. Now that should give me free reign to be reckless and carefree with my spending in the next few episodes. Um, it's not me naturally, but you never know. I might. I might. I might get carried away. <laughs> and there's only one way to find out by joining me in the next episode of Train Fever. So from me, Ajax Post, for now. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>